go in here. Hello, I'm the Michael. I, you know who I am. I know who you are. Let's get right to this because knowing me, I'm probably going to take all day talking about these movies. So let's get to it. <laughs> Okay, now, oh yeah, here's a thing that I forgot to mention. Now, I forgot to mention that I borrowed a few movies to, uh, you know, on my friends. So, I finally gave them back, so I forgot to mention them. So, here, I'll talk, to, you know, I'll show you the ones that I forgot to mention in my other previous DVD videos. But here we go. Let's see, one. Reservoir Dogs. Yes. Yeah, how can I forget to mention Reservoir Dogs? So just so you all know, I do own Reservoir Dogs. And, you know, it's funny, you can't find this version anymore. You know, the 10th Anniversary Edition. You always find the 15th Anniversary Edition. But, you know, even though it has a better picture and stuff, it's kind of funny. I heard that people like this edition better because it has a lot more special features. Hmm, surprisingly. Well, anyway. Yeah, good movie! And oh, here we go. This is one of my all-time favorites. Equilibrium. If you... You probably haven't heard of it, but it's a really, really good sci-fi movie. Stars Christian Bale. And it's all about, uh, like, a futuristic world where uh, emotions are illegal. So Christian Bale is plays a officer who kills people who tries to feel emotions but he himself ends up not taking the drug that suspends the emotions and thus yada 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 he feels emotions and then he feels that he has to stop this crazy ness so yeah this this is a great sci-fi movie yes it is a must watch let's see and the other one I got here where I put it oh yeah here we go is Jacob's Ladder. Now this is freaky. This is a freaky this is a freaky movie. It's uh the guy who goes to uh starts seeing demons and he believes that it's a government conspiracy when he went to Vietnam. Oh yeah, cult classic right here. That's yeah. Also, my one of my friends is borrowing the prestige from me which stars uh, Hugh Jackman and Christian Bale. So, just so you know, I have that one too. And then that's the only ones I'm borrowing. So here, let me get to this. Let's see, first, uh, oh yeah, I did see Saw 4 and 5. They are both a go rate. I'm not sure how many people are saying that it keeps getting worse throughout each and every movie. I actually thought Saw 5 was... Better than a few of them. I really like Saw 5. But anyway, here, these are the ones that I got for my birthday now. Raising Arizona. This is a funny movie. It's uh, Coen's Brothers movies, who uh, they made uh, The Big Lebowski and Fargo and the old No Country for Old Men and the new one came out of Burn After Reading. Anyway, this is good. It's a Nicolas Cage, Holly Hunter movie where they steal a baby. Oh, yeah, this. You would like this one. And here we go. Million Dollar Baby. Don't know why I didn't own this one before. This was a great movie. And, you know, it's. You know, damn Clint Eastwood. You can. Picking, like, the most depressing script you could find. Yeah, that, that's cheating. That's cheating. No wonder he won so many Oscars for this movie. Yeah, but try to find the saddest script out there in the world. Try to make it into this movie. You would like... This is a good one. This is the a Best Picture winner, too. So, yeah, this is a really good must-see. Here we go. The two-disc edition of... 1408, which stars John Cusack and Samuel L. Jackson. I don't know why people are saying that they don't like this movie. I really liked it. Although I am surprised to see that it has, right in there, an alternate ending. That is interesting. Now, I heard that... I'm hearing flip-flop things where people are saying that they prefer the original ending opposed to the altered ending, which 
was ended up being shown in theaters or something or something like that. I need, I need to watch both versions to see which ones I like. But so far the other one contains uh, how many more minutes? Does it say? Does it say here? No, it doesn't. Well, this one's supposed. To, well, the next one's supposed to be like a. I think it's at eight minutes longer. Uh, crazy oh, man! I suck with this camera. Let's see. Oh, here we go. This is one I can't believe I never owned before. The Shining. Yes, this movie's awesome. It's the best horror movie ever made. That's all I have to say about that. And it like it's best horror movie ever made. Directed by one of the greatest directors ever made, Stanley Kubrick, with one starring one of the greatest actors to ever live, Jack Nicholson, from one of the best Stephen King novels ever written. Ah, oh, shut it back. Why not? Sweet. Yes, this is one that you have to make time for to watch. Or even buy. Buy it now! Buy it now. It's just that awesome. Here is an interesting movie if you haven't seen it, Teeth. It's like came out like not too long ago. And this is weird. It's all about a girl who develops teeth down there. If you get my drift. And yeah, it's a very it's a very uh dark co uh comedic sort of movie. But it's not it's not like a ha ha funny sort of movie. It it gets it's actually really well made. That's the point that I'm trying to make after all my little rambling. Yeah, this is surprisingly surprisingly much better than I thought it would be. I just had to buy. It. I never saw it before before I bought it. I I think I'd trust it. Now here we go. The Monty Python Holy Trinity edition. Oh yeah, look at that cover for a minute. <whistles> Anyway, oh my god, yes. It contains the two disc special editions of each three of these movies. Can you believe it? And the co the texture on this cover is like so soft and fine and it like the slip on cover just comes on and off like a glove. I really like I really like this edition and like I said, comes from the newest editions of each three of these movies. So, oh yeah. Wow, that's nice, eh? Yeah, that is so nice. Let me show you the inside of it for a minute. I'll do this quick because I know I am slow on time here. But, oh yeah, look at that. Six, six disc edition. Wow, that is nice. That is beautiful, isn't it? Monty Python. You gotta love Monty Python. Oh yeah, here we go. Gotta do this all with one hand. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Success! I win! Now here's a movie I haven't exactly watched yet, but it is the original Journey to the Center of the Earth. Yeah, I never watched it. I'm not sure if I... I I didn't like the remake with uh, Brendan Fraser. Like I like Brendan Brendan Fraser. It's just that you know, come on, guy, you gotta get out of the whole fantasy kids movie sort of era thing. You gotta get into serious shit fast, like uh, Crash. You gotta make another Crash movie, man. And here we go, freakiest movie that I watched so far this year, Old Boy. A Japanese movie about a man who's captured and in prison for 15 years. And then when he's uh, let loose, he finds out that he only has five more years, uh, five more days. Shut up! Of getting revenge. So he goes on a big killing spree. This takes multiple viewings to like get in your head. Because I just watched it yesterday and I'm like, whoa... But, oh yeah, nonetheless, very, very good. Carry the back. Sweet. Four stars. You see, Roger Ebert likes it, and that guy doesn't like anything. So, you know you can trust it. 
So there, that's all I got for you so far. Hopefully that didn't take too much time. It is, uh, I am the maker that get the screen looking at me so I know how to shut up. Okay, that's the Michael talking. Uh, see you again in another DVD update. Jazz hands. <laughs> it, 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 turn off. It, turn off.